Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to share with you guys a collage that I did of Biscuit. Uh, this is a project that I've been working on in little bits and pieces over the last several days because I haven't had a lot of time or energy to do a lot of crafting. I apologize for not being on YouTube for a while, but um, Biscuit has been really sick and I'm taking her to the vet again today. Um, this is our, I think, fourth visit in the last week. They can't figure out what's wrong with her. So, um, and she's not eating. She's uh, really lethargic. She's not, anyway, there are a lot of things going on, but please uh, keep her, keep us in your thoughts and uh, send some healing thoughts our way, please. <laughs> um, Right after this, I'm going to be taking her back to the vet for some an ultrasound. Um, but anyway, I wanted to share with you guys this collage and the process I went through to making it. This is the counterpart to the one that I did of Bandito a couple of months ago. And I really like how this turned out. And now I have the system down so I can do these, I think, um, in a much more kind of systemized way. Um, the way I went about doing this is I picked out a cute picture of Biscuit and I printed it out twice on matte photo paper. And with the first copy, all I did was take my liquid gesso, Liquitex gesso, and I painted all around the outside of where the picture was so that the paper would have some good tooth. And I wanted to make sure that the photo itself, um, that I left that untouched and I didn't waste gesso or gelatos for that matter. And the gelatos that I used to create this kind of warm ombre effect was a uh, yellow, orange, red, hot pink, and the kind of coral. It's part of the one set that you get that has, I don't know, like a dozen colors in it at Michael's. And I did find out that the coral seems to mix the best. And I just, you know, rubbed it out with my finger, kind of damp, and I mixed the colors together. And I really like the patina that it creates. It looks really rich and deep. Um, then with the other sheet, the other printout of the um, picture, I just took a pencil, regular pencil, and wrote where the lights and the darks were in the picture. So I just kind of hand drew out these shapes, um, you know, in a way that I thought would look pleasing. And I then just fussy cut out with my spring-loaded scissors. I finally have good scissors, and these are fantastic. They really reduce the hand strain. So for those of you with um, arthritis, this might be a good uh, scissors. This is a tonic spring-cut, uh, spring-loaded scissors. And I ordered this online, but I think they sell it at you know different stores or similar ones, the spring-loaded ones. Um, and I fussy cut out each of those shapes. And then what I did was I picked out a whole bunch of pattern paper that I like, just scrapped some of them, but some of them I picked out specifically that because I knew I wanted to include them, like this Steampunk Spells paper. I knew I wanted to use that. Um, this Moon one, which I also think is Steampunk Spells. Some of these papers were gifted to me, just lovely, lovely papers. Um, this, I think, is from New Crafter Bev. Uh, this, I believe, is from Nene, who's Rene Villanueva. Um, what else? I think this one might have been from Sheila McNabb. This is also from Nene. This is the reverse side of this paper. Um, anyway, it's, I love using up scraps this way, and I think the composition came out quite nicely. Nice color combination. Um, I did make sure that the eyes were done in the same color. Um, I could have, I had another paper, but I, the pattern was a little larger and I thought these pieces were so small that I wanted to do a small print. Um, and what I did was for those, the picture, the photo that I cut up, I glued on with actually just a glue stick, just my regular Staples glue stick um, onto the pattern paper and then fussy cut out the same shapes again. Um, the only part that I thought was a little bit tricky was where the nose and the eyes are because you have to use an X-Acto knife to get into the inside there. Um, and then I just started putting it all back together like a puzzle. So it's paper piecing just times two, really. Um, and before I glued the pieces back together, you know, forming the puzzle of the collage, I took my little finger daubers and just inked the edges so that it for each piece, 
you could kind of define the, you know, junctures a little bit better. Um, and it gives a nice rich look, I think. Uh, I used walnut stain and um, antique photo were the two that I used. Um, and th then at the end, after I put it all together, I put some glossy accents on the nose, the mouth, and the eyes. Um, the white of the eyes had kind of faded out a little bit, so I re-highlighted them with my uh, white jelly roll pen. And I think that brings a nice brightness to that. And that's it. I'm going to put details of the step-by-step -step on my blog. So if you're interested in trying this yourself, please go check that out. And I'll put a link in the description box below for that. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Memorial Day.